Hey everybody, Mr. Kaczynski here, working through section P of IXL's 8th grade math skills, translations and finding their coordinates uh, today. In my last video, uh, we actually graphed, and we didn't worry too much about what the coordinates were, and that's kind of opposite of what we're going to do today. We're going to concentrate on just the coordinates. So this says that we're going to move um, four units to the right, not move, but translate four units to the right. So we're translating today. Uh, four units to the right and four units up. Well, let's talk about translating four units up um, or to the right first. That means we're going to add, right means four or plus, and uh, add four to the x value. The x value is what controls right and left movement or translations. So negative three plus four is one. All right, and then when it says four up, we're also going to take the y value and add four to that. So negative one plus four is three. So if we plot that new point, uh, one, three, one to the right, three up, okay, would that get us um, the right translation here? So would it be a translation of four to the right of the original point and four up? Sure would. That's four to the right and four up. So, but we did it without actually um, sliding it on the graph. We just did it mathematically. By the way, that, that apostrophe right there next to the G means G prime. So our original image is G. Our new image or copy of the image is called G prime. Let's do this again. All right, so now we're going to go six units left and two units up with a translation. Six units left means we're going to um, subtract six from that five. So five minus six is negative one. That's six units left. Remember, the x value controls right and left. And then two units up, that's our y value. So we're going to add two uh, to this one, which would be three. And we'll plot that again and make sure that it looks right. Negative 1, positive 3. Would that be 6 units left and 2 units up? 6 units left, looks good there. And 2 units or 3 units, well, it would be 3, 2 units up if I would have plotted it correctly. So let's try that again. There we go. So negative 1, positive 3, I went up 4. Now it's in the right spot for P prime right there. Then as we get into the tougher questions, they ask you to do this repetitively. So uh, two units down, we're going to translate two units down, which means we need to subtract two, um, not from our X values, but from our Y values. So we're going to subtract two from all of these Y values here. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Uh, 8 minus 2 is 6. 8 minus 2 is 6. And 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Since we're not translating right or left at all, we'll just leave the x values alone. All right, we'll go ahead and plot those points. Um, so negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 6. 9, 6, something went wrong there, didn't it? No, I'm good. And, um, oh, I see what I did wrong. And 9, negative 2. So, yeah, my problem here is that I graphed this one wrong. Let's try again. So it would be at 9 positive 6, or negative 1 positive 6, and I did negative 1 uh, negative 6. So there's our new rectangle. And that's what you get when you translate it two units down. Here we go again. Uh, this time we're going 5 left and 4 down. All right, so I like to concentrate on just um, one thing at a time here. So let's concentrate on the 5 units to the left. Five units to the left means we're going to subtract five 
from all of our x values. So 4 minus 5 is negative 1. 9 minus 5 is 4. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Then when we go 4 units down, we're going to take all of our, x, our y values and subtract 4. So negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 8 minus 4 is positive 4, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And I think we should take the time to graph these, just if anything, so I can show you what it looks like. So negative 1, negative 6. There's E prime. Um, 4, negative 3. There's F prime negative 1, 4, there's g prime, and negative 6, negative 3, that's going to be h prime. So when we connect the dots here, connect the vertices, That is the same exact figure, same size, same shape, same angles, everything. It's just translated, slid um, down into the left. One more. Let's do a translation of one unit left. We know that that's going to be subtract one from all of our x values. Negative one minus one is negative two. Three minus one is two. Five minus one is four. One minus one is zero. And then seven units up means add seven to our y values. Negative four plus seven is positive three. Negative four plus seven is positive three. Negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4. Negative 3 plus 7 is positive 4. Plot those points. Make sure they come out right. Negative 2, positive 3. A positive 2, positive 3. 4, 4. And 0, 4. Connect our vertices, and we should have the same exact figure just slid up and to the left a little bit. All right, um, so the, trans the mathematics behind translations is all about addition and subtraction. So that should help you with this skill in section P of ISL's 8th grade math. Good luck.